Well, after Monday night's shock first Dancing with the Stars elimination, and it was a shock, we find ourselves sitting here right now with the Princess of Paratide Drive and one of our favourite housewives, Gilda Kirkpatrick, along with her dance partner, Shane Mountain. Sorry that you're here, but welcome to the cafe again, Gilda. Yes, Gilla. welcome. Thank you. Um, I would say it's lovely, but it's it's kind of not because you were um, you were the first one off Dancing with the Stars, and I can quite honestly say, ripped massive off. fan. She was did, ripped off. Did not see that coming. How did it? I mean, it must have been. Um, how do you work yourself when you when it's announced that you're out? I mean, how do you keep it together? Because it must be very disappointing. Um, no, because you know we have to rehearse all that whole process uh, and procedure, and we rehearsed it about. I don't know, four or five times before that happened. So while you're rehearsing, although you're pretending, you do very realistically put yourself there. So it wasn't like, oh my God, you know. I was like, oh yeah, well, you know, it could happen. Take yeah. us right back to the start, girl. Now, how did you feel when they asked you to do this? Did it take a bit of convincing or were you in there straight away? No, no, it took a little while to get my head around it. <laughs> and um, they wouldn't tell me who was going to be on the show. Right. Um, and me not being very competitive, I didn't even think about it. <laughs> I was like, oh, I have to go and learn dance, and you know, the charity gets the air time. That that sounds all right. <laughs> yeah, you're not you're not a natural dancer. You keep saying, but can I just say, I thought you really rocked it. I was so proud of you when you came out on the first night. Oh, I was, thank I was you. holding my breath, um, and then you were just beautiful. So I don't I don't think you're doing yourself justice when you say you're not a natural dancer because you nailed it. I oh, thought you thanks. did. So I, 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 I don't like things halfway. I like to do them either perfect or just not. And I think also everybody wants one of those costumes you had on Monday night with the feathers <laughs> oh. on the back. That thing could be a big seller. That actually was an um, issue with the wardrobe because my actual dress didn't work. I won't say for what reasons. Uh, so that's the only dress that they had in samba style which fitted me. Really? Yeah. How did it not, did, did you keep falling out of it, the dress that you were meant to wear? I'm no, curious. <laughs> no, it, um, it just wasn't right. Okay, just wasn't right. We'll find out off camera later and, on. And, and, <laughs> and probably a good time to have a chat to Shay right now. Shay, congratulations, your first season of Dancing with Thank the you. Stars. Is it something you've always wanted to do? Yeah, I grew up watching the show um, ever since back in 2006 or whenever it was. So it was I, 23. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's definitely something I've always um, kind of dreamed in taking part of. So I was yeah very lucky to be on the season. And how proud of Gilda were you? Very. Um, she worked really really hard, and we you know sort of spent six weeks together in the studio and and put lots of time in and. Um, all you can really ask of your uh, star is that they give their best, and, and she did, yeah. so very proud. So what did you know about Gilda before you realised that you found out that she was going to be your partner? I have actually never watched the Housewives show, so <laughs> I, I knew the name and I had to do a quick sort of YouTube search and have a look at some online clips of Miss <laughs> Gilda. And what did you find and what did you think? Oh, I was scared of her. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah, all my friends had said, oh my God, she's, she's like ruthless on the show. Oh, so I was, a, I was a little bit like scared when I heard that she'd been announced. And then, um, you know, we did the partner reveal, but, you know, I think because it's dancing, you know, you want someone with a bit of attitude and a bit of sass, so... And she's yeah. not scary. No, she's not scary. And the judges, Gilda, are their uh, comments helpful or...? Yeah, you know, um, they are spot on. It might... people might say, oh, that was too harsh, and... But in reality, that's, you know, they pick on everything you do. They are professionals, they've done this all their lives, they are there for a reason. And I think um, they're very spot on. People can argue that, oh, their scoring is a bit weird. That I don't know about, but I can just say that from the comments they make, all of their comments are right. So you actually listen to them and take them in and they are helpful. You know what? I don't even need to listen because I know, I knew after my <laughs> tango that my mm. posture was terrible. Uh, so when they said it, I was like, yeah, that's fair. My posture was terrible. You know, even my samba. Um, I did screw up, and that's, you know, that's just... That uh, you weren't the only one. Just <laughs> no, that. that's correct, and sometimes other people mix their steps and screw up, but, you know... How much, how much work goes into this behind the scenes? Because we hear it's pretty full on. So, Shay, can you just give us sort of a rough idea of how much preparation goes into yeah. one shoot? So, I mean, initially we have four weeks before we do the first dance, but then, you know, it's a, a new dance every week. So we've got sort of four days to pretty much put the routine together and, and sort of polish the choreography, and then three days in studio, one rehearsing and then the two live shows. So it's And is that enough, do you think? No way. <laughs> yeah, true. No, I mean, dancers spend years trying to perfect 
you know, sort of perfect their technique and everything. Mm. And you know, for, for like Gilda to learn a dance in four days and then also make it look pretty, it's definitely a challenge. Who chooses the music and the costumes? Do you have a say in what goes on there? Yeah, absolutely. Um, well, they give us themes of the way. So, like for example, last night was top forties. Uh, then on Monday yeah. night, sorry, was top forties, and um, so we all had to pick a music which would go for the dance that they had given us. Um, and then we can choose our costumes. Well, good sometimes. Fun. Yeah. Sometimes you need plan B sometimes costumes. Sometimes you need plan B costumes, <laughs> that's right. OK, and quickly before you go, I know you're going to get asked this a lot, but um, competitiveness behind the scenes. Is everyone in it to win it, or are they lovely? Are they nice? I think everyone is there to win it, okay. but they're also very nice. Mm. Good, OK, who's your pick to win? <laughs> It's a hard one. The person who's got the physical and mental strength and public behind them, whoever they are. But it's also, it's, also, it's also a personality thing, isn't it? When people, like, um, when they get their voters behind them and mm. they rally the troops, so to speak, too. Absolutely. Mm. I mean, it really helps if you have got, you know, uh, some people, they, they are, you know, very well known it's characters. Got a radio show or a TV they got a radio show, show or TV show <laughs> yeah. or something, and people have grown up with them. Or So they obviously have an advantage of. Uh, having that relationship with public throughout the year, so... Oh, well, you're awesome, and Starship Children's Hospital will yeah. be very proud of you. You've done an awesome job, both of you, so congratulations, thank you. Yeah, and thank thanks you, for being thank here. You. Yeah, yeah, thank you very much thanks for stopping for by, us. and it's a shame it has to be the first one out, but looking forward to seeing you back <laughs> when you do the final thing in the, in the last ones. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Dancing with the Stars is only just heating up, too. Make sure you keep watching Sundays at 7, Mondays at 7.30 on 3. Yes, Gilda's got plenty of other things to take care of her time anyway. <laughs>